Hello, I'm Srikant. I'm a certified SQL expert and Oracle certified PL SQL associate. In this video, I would like to explain how to install Oracle Database 11G Express Edition. Why 11G Express Edition? That's the best version for someone who is getting started with Oracle, who doesn't want to store a lot of data, which is not a corporate kind of scenario. An individual who wants to learn Oracle, and this is the best edition. It's very light, just 320 MB download, and then it consumes less resources. I know Oracle 12C is the latest edition, but it's hefty. I don't recommend that for beginners. So to get started, go to oracle.com and go to downloads and in downloads you find Oracle Database 11G Edition, Express Edition. And I strongly recommend you think of this. And this is Oracle 12C. I don't recommend you go for this. So here we are, we are going for 11G Express Edition. So when you select that, it's going to give you options like this. And also you need to accept license agreement. And then here we are, it's giving you three options and I'm using Windows and I'm using Windows 64 bit. So I have to go for the first link. And if you are using Windows 32 bit, go for the second link. And for others, we have other options. I'm going with this, just download this. And I already downloaded. When you click on that, it is going to ask you to specify where you want to download that. I already downloaded, so I don't go for this. But you have to download that. Wait until it is uh, downloaded. So in my system, I already downloaded that. So I kept it in uh, software. And uh, this is where I have that. Oracle XE uh, 11 G Oracle 11G Express Edition and version 2 for Windows 64. Just extract it, you get a folder like this. In that folder you get disk1, in that folder you get setup.exe. Just double click on setup.exe, the installation will start. I don't install because I already installed this in my system. But installation is uh, very simple. All that you need to do is give a password when you are prompted to give a password and that is the password of system account make sure you give a simple password and you remember it because you badly need that in order to connect it to Oracle so uh, that's all you need to do to install nothing else now once Oracle is installed the next thing you need to do is download a tool called SQL developer this is uh, a very user friendly and very powerful tool from Oracle absolutely free so just go to SQL developer and this is where you get a couple of options again you have two options 64 or 64 32 and with JDK without JDK remember this is a Java application so you need to use uh, JDK or you need to get JDK along with that. I already have JDK installed in my system. So I go with this. I have to download this. I already downloaded this. So here we are. We already have that. SQL developer. And again, you don't have to do any installation this time. You just need to extract it. So once you extract it into a folder, I did that. I already extracted that into Oracle folder in D drive and a folder called SQL developer is created and just go there and double click on SQL developer.exe that's all you need to do and first time when you run it it will ask you to specify where is a, a JDK installed in your system it's called the Java home and in my system JDK is installed in C drive and in my system it is installed in JDK 8 of C drive so I just mentioned and that's all you need to do so here is your SQL developer 
and I'm talking about SQL developer well let me close a few things and now this is how you get started with SQL developer just double click on that uh, exe file it starts and here on the left you have to create connections so click on plus sign and create a connection and the first connection is for system account so I give it a name like system username is system password is whatever you have given at the time of installing Oracle and that's all you have to give don't worry about the remaining details they're all already set to defaults and defaults work fine for us okay but just make sure that it is local host port number is 1521 and uh, SID is XE and click on test to make sure that these details are fine and if you get the status success it means it is successfully connecting to Oracle just click on connect you are ready to go now we are connected to Oracle as a system but system account is not to be used for uh, normal uh, operations so we move to a different account called HR but HR account is not available by default because it is locked in fact HR account contains a set of tables human resource related tables but our system account should be first used to unlock HR account so here are the commands to unlock HR account so we say alter user HR account unlock and this is the command we need to execute to unlock that account and also the password of HR account is expired by default so we change the password again we say alter user HR identified by HR I'm giving the password HR again in fact by default it is already having password HR but that is expired so I give it like this run it's altered so unlocked and then it's also uh, set to the new password called HR now we are all set to go and what we need to do is we need to connect to Oracle now using HR so go to new connection and the connection name this time is HR user HR password HR and connect you are connected and you can see at the top of the tab it shows what is the name of that connection you are using now I'm using HR and I can go to HR account and I can give some commands and SQL developer does give you some assistance like what tables you have and so on you can for example select jobs click on run and this is the button to run and you see the list of rows so this is all that you need to do so if you know Oracle uh, this is uh, the tool I strongly recommend you use to learn what is what and if you are absolutely new to Oracle then install uh, this database install SQL developer and I strongly recommend you do buy this book this is my book written by me specifically for beginners and this is uh, available in Amazon and this is a Kindle edition but remember you don't need to have Kindle device to read it because Amazon provides Kindle application for uh, all devices okay all smartphones etc so you need to just have a, a Kindle application to read any Kindle book not just mine any Kindle book okay so this is my book specifically written for beginners and it covers both SQL and PL SQL to the required extent so I strongly recommend you go for this install those softwares that database 11G Express Edition and then a SQL developer and then you're all set to go so this is uh, what I want you to do as a beginner if you take these steps you're ready to go and you can learn how to deal with Oracle Hope this is of use to you. All the very best. Keep learning. Bye-bye.